Hey girl, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna get on here and create a blue eyeshadow look. I'm gonna be using this P. Louise If Looks Could Chill palette. I just haven't had a chance to get on here and create a look with this palette and I thought today's the day. These blues in here are absolutely stunning. It has a drawer that pulls out on it. We got this in our November budget box. The whole palette is absolutely stunning and P. Louise formula is absolutely amazing. Very pigmented but very workable. So I already have my eyebrows done. I have my eyelids primed and I'm going to go ahead and start with this black shade here. And then I am going to start applying the black shade to the outer corner. This shade is called Stormy Night and I absolutely love this black. Very pigmented but so workable. And of course same thing for this side. Just packing that black shade on the outer corner. If you signed up and got the November budget box from P. Louise, that was a good month because we got so many different palettes. We got this double decker palette, we got a lip palette, and we also got a blush palette. And I absolutely love all three of them. So now I'm going to go into this blue shade right here. And this shade is called Go Outdoors. And I'm just going to start buffing out that black with that blue shade. So unfortunately, I did cancel my subscription with P. Louise this month. Honestly, it's just because I wanted to have my budget open up a little bit and this box is like $53 a month and of course I'm a smaller channel so I do purchase most of the products that I review on my channel and this is one of the things that I purchase is this box. I also purchase Ice Cream Beauty Box. Slate Lamb has been sending my boxes out to me to review so that's been really nice. That's been able to open my budget up a little bit. But honestly, for the January box, we're getting like a couple of body shimmers. We're going to either get a blush or a bronzer palette, which was really nice. I would love to get either one of those. And then I think the last item was like a set of three lip oils, which I do honestly love all of P. Louise's products, but... Again, I just wanted to open my budget a little bit. So now I'm gonna switch brushes and I'm gonna go into this shade here, which is called Shelter. And I'm gonna start buffing out the top of that dark blue shade. So I am switching back brushes, going in with the dark blue brush, not adding anything to it and just blending together. I may sign back up with them in the future because again, I absolutely love getting their eyeshadow palettes. Their quality is amazing. Honestly, I haven't got a product that I don't like from them. So it is a box that I still would recommend. Just going back in with the black brush, not adding anything to it. And going back with that light blue brush, just kind of diffusing out. Now I'm going to switch over to this palette and I'm going to go into this light blue here which is called Sweater Weather and I'm going to blend out and buff out that blue because I do want this to be more of a smoky blown out look. And of course same thing for this side. Just start blending out these shades. And I am just going to work it over and up to the brow, going back with that medium blue shade and just blending out, going back into the black shade and blending out the black because again, I do want to keep the black. I don't want to lose that pigment and then just going back in with the dark blue and buffing out. And when I'm using darker colors like this, I definitely do not like to do my face makeup first. So that way I can clean up when I'm done. And I am going to bring this dark shade over into the crease a little. Just because I'm going to go back in and lighten it up with a light shimmer. Go back in with the fluffy brush and blend out again. Okay, so now I'm just going to go into this shimmer blue here. And I'm going to apply that to the lid. Oh my goodness, look at how beautiful that shade is. P. Louise Shimmer is so good. It is so beautiful. Same thing for this side. Take it over that black a little. Now I'm going to go back with the black brush and blend the blue and the black together just so we don't have any harsh lines. Now I'm going to go back in with that dark blue brush and just blend all around. Now I'm going to take a makeup wipe and clean up. 
So now I'm gonna go into this shade here, and this is called the Frozen one. I'm gonna use that on the brow bone, just to lighten up the brow bone. Then I'm gonna go back with the fluffy brush and I'm gonna blend out. So now I'm gonna go in with my Mirabella Serum. I just wanna prep the skin for foundation. And then I'm gonna use my P. Louise. This is the Soft on the Side Moisturizer. Both of these products work very well under makeup. And I am gonna go in with a set of lashes today. These are from P. Louise. I'm gonna use the half lashes. I'm also gonna use my Kiss Lash Glue. But I absolutely love these half lashes. So I'm also gonna add some liner, and this is the one from Oaklawn. I love this eyeliner. This is like the easiest eyeliner to use. I never have an issue with it. Okay, so I am gonna go ahead and add some mascara. This is the e.l.f. Lash and Roll. And usually I do not like to add mascara before I apply the lashes, but I find it harder with the half lash to apply the mascara after just because I really want to get more mascara on this front part because the lash obviously isn't covering that part of my eyelash. And it's a little bit harder to get in there without getting it on the half lash. And I'm mainly going to focus it on the inner portion of the eyelash that isn't going to be covered. I'm also going to go in with my Ioni eyeliner. So now I'm just going to take the half lash and I'm going to look down into the mirror because it's so easy to apply it looking down for some reason. And then you can adjust where you want them to go. And then I'm going to go in on the other side. Okay, so now we got the lashes applied. I'm going to go in with a little bit of primer. This is just a primer from Pure really hydrating. I'm going to go in with this Elma Beauty foundation. This is a medium to full coverage foundation. I am using a dry beauty blender. I feel like when you use a dry beauty blender, it doesn't mess with the formula of the foundation. It has a natural finish. I got this at Walmart. So now I'm just going to go in with the P. Louise bronzer. Their liquid bronzer is so good. Definitely recommend this. I'm also going to blend this out with their F33 brush. This works amazing with their cream bronzer. This literally melts into your skin so nicely. It does not lift your foundation. I am going to go in with the new liquid blush that I got out of the Slay Glam box. This is from Beauty Creations. I love these blushes. They're so good. This one is in the shade Passion Pink, but I feel like it has like a peachy undertone. So I kind of like to blend this up high and then go in with my concealer. Now I did just get this. This is the NYX Pro Fix Stick. I haven't used this before and I got mine in the shade Vanilla. This is what it looks like. So you do get quite a bit of product in here. But I've heard nothing but great things about this, so I can't wait to try it. Ooh, okay, first of all, very creamy, literally gliding right on. Wow, okay, I was not expecting it to be that creamy. That's nice. And let's see how it blends out. Ooh, this is blending out very nicely. Very brightening under the eye. Let's blend out this side. Yes, very brightening. Okay, so, so far I really like it. It doesn't seem to have any extra creasing under the eye, so that's really nice. It is a brightening concealer, so that's cool. Super smooth applying it under the eye, so I do like this so far. But of course, we'll see how everything sets with powders on top of it. So let's go ahead and jump into some powder products. Now I'm going to be using this palette from Edry's for my bronzer. I'm going to probably mix this shade and this shade together and just bronze up the skin. And this is the P. Louise F34 brush. I just love how it's angled for powdered bronzer. And it applies really smoothly to the skin. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the Delancey. This is the Cheek Blusher in shade 4. I just thought it matched really well with that cream blush. And just tap over the cream blush. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with a highlighter. And I'm going to be using this one from Kevin & Co. And I'm going to use this color... Again, just because I think it goes really nicely with all the blush. And I really do love using like these peachy tones when I'm doing a blue eyeshadow look. I just think they go so well. And of course, I like my highlight beaming. So we like to build her up. Then I'll just tap back in with my blush and also my bronzer. Go through the hairline and wipe the hairline. 
So now I'm just gonna go back into the black with the black brush and smoke out the bottom lash line. Now I didn't set my under eyes on purpose because I wanted to apply that black under the eye before I set with powder because sometimes the black smudges down on my concealer. So I just like to go back and tap out underneath of that black. I am gonna use my Physician's Formula Setting Powder. I'm just gonna pick it up on my powder puff and lightly tap underneath of the black on both sides. Now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of mascara on the bottom lashes. I'm gonna go in with a dark brown lip liner. This one is from e.l.f. I'm gonna go into my P. Louise palette. This is the lip palette. I'm gonna use this shade. And then I'm gonna go in with this lip liner. This is the Bodyography in shade Timber. I'm gonna go back into the lip palette and use this lightest shade. And then go back in with a little bit of the e.l.f. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of this Oma Beauty Brow Gel. And then I'm gonna finish it off with this Kimchi. This is the Stage Proof Matte Setting Spray. I've tried this one time and it really does work nicely. It really does set your makeup in and make it last all day. I do have dry skin, but it still works really nicely with my makeup. Okay, girl, so this is the completed look using the P. Louise If Looks Could Chill palette. I absolutely love it. I mean, it really has like every shade of blue you could think of, but the black in there is really nice. I have been absolutely loving that black again because it is so pigmented but it's still very workable like their eyeshadows just blend so nicely you don't have to worry about having really harsh lines they blend out so nicely when you need them to blend out i'm absolutely obsessed with this look but as always girl let me know what do you think down in the comments i love to hear from you thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye